Welcome to Thurbit Action here at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you. We've got a nine-race Friday card, and Florida Breds are in the spotlight. Good maiden special weight, a couple of good allowance races as well, and, of course, the Rainbow Six, race number four, 275, and the gross jackpot guarantee. We'll send it up to Pete Aiello for the course and the weather conditions. The weather today, cloudy skies, a chance of showers. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is always fast. We are off the turf today. No turf racing. Racing at Gulfstream. Good start inside for Chloe's Toy and Hotfoot Susie. Out in the center goes Never with Face the Music. They're almost four in line. From behind the speed is Feline moving out the rail. That's Sayonara's sister. And just ahead of her went Marilyn. They race to the half-mile point. Paca Lopez and Chloe's Toy work to a clear lead. They lead by length. Face the Music is second. Hotfoot Susie between them. Up on the inside, it's Feline. She's guiding into the race about two and a half lengths off the speed. Never's on her outside. Three back to Marilyn. The trailer, Sayonara Sister. The leader is Chloe's Toy. Less than five sixteenths to go. Chloe's Toy has the lead by half a length. From the outside, Face the Music in between horses. Hotfoot Susie. Feline's going to try to slide through with the rail. They straighten for the drive. Feline gets through at the fence, but but Chloe's Toy has more. Chloe's Toy roused on the top end by Paco. Down the center, never with a late threat. In between horses, Hotfoot Susie. There's a 16th to go. Chloe's Toy trying to hold firm. Here's Hotfoot Susie and face the music. Chloe's Toy all the way. Hotfoot Susie was second. Face the music ran third. Feline was fourth. 57 flat. the center hoax quick off the blocks here's hi hello how are you speeding through at the inside splitting them extra indies on the go and out deep on the course kitty quick so it will be hi hello how are you to set the pace with inside position extra indies second toward the inside luck in the dust saves ground she's into a joint third rain back is kitty quick then hoax and out wide is zosterop up front, Miguel Vasquez and Hi, hello, how are you? They have them stacked and packed, but Angel Morales not happy about it and sends Zosterop four wide, although Zosterop might have done that more than Morales wanting her to as she's keen on the far outside. Three wide, it's Kitty Quick, two path extra Indy. Settled nicely down inside is Luck in the Dust. She's second last, and the trailer is Hoax. 25 seconds for a very reasonable opening quarter as they head to the half-mile point. Hi, hello, how are you? Getting things her own way on the top end. She leads by a length. From between horses, extra Indy. Zosterop is three wide. Luck in the dust has got the rail in fourth, trying to secure that spot. Then to the outside, it's Kitty Quick, and the trailer is Hoax. Into the far turn, they race. Good trip here for Luck in the Dusk. Now she has the option to get to the heels of the leader. Hi, hello, how are you? She's going to try to do that with three furlongs to run. Meanwhile, Zosterop continues on a three wide move. Four wide, Kitty Quick. Quick down at the inside, hoax is last, but all in with a chance here. Even after that good trip, luck in the dusk is flattening out. And hi, hello, how are you? Is bravening up three quarters, one thirteen and two, and it's high. Hello, how are you? Off the turn with a five length lead. Kenny Quick is now second toward the outside. That's hoax with a late run as they come inside the final sixteenth. Hi, hello, how are you? Is strong to the finish. Hi, hello, how are you? Under jockey Miguel Vasquez, and no doubt about it, winner. They won by seven in the end. Second. Stable mate Kitty Quick, third extra Indy, then Zosterop and Hoax. Luck in the dust, wound up last, 141 and three. And 
they're off. The favorite, my chutzpah, was a step slow to get going. It was a good start between for Fortuna Bell, who's heading off for the early lead toward her outside. Minxie has speed. Splurge is away in the top light. She's now racing up the outside. Down at the inside goes Rational Kate. Rational Kate, she situates herself about five lengths behind as they make their way down the backstretch. It's Fortuna Bell, just a narrow advantage. Minxie is racing alongside the leader in second. And it's a gap of a length and a half to Splurge, who's now third. Mama Maria is there fourth. In between horses, Principia. We're getting started on the outside is Hutzpah. My Hutzpah, that is. Rational Kate down toward the inside as they round the far turn. Burn away. A long way behind, but they're going quickly. Four wide on the outside here is Mama Maria. Circling horses to take the lead. All in and dropping back Fortuna Bell. Trying to fight on as Minxie. Splurge is between horses. My Hutzpah's not firing. Underway from the back is Burn away. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. Fighting back inside, it's Minxie. Minxie tries to go after Mama Maria, who has the lead. Mama Maria is in front. She's wandering, but still in front. Burnaway is flying home on the outside. She's up into a joint third, but she has no chance to catch Mama Maria. Mama Maria will win it. Burnaway with a lot of closed ground to be second, ahead of Minxie in third. Splurge is fourth, and Fortuna Bell, 111 and two. beginning. Soon after the start, ask not what you can do, and Big B began for the lead. Here's Total Bliss moving through at the inside. Total Bliss, now a half length in front. Ask not what you can do is there second, and at the rail, Mia Camilla is now third. Out of a bit deep on the course goes I Believe in Magic, floated out by Big B. In the two-path, Major Price, saving ground is Artifact, and the trailer is built different. Around the clubhouse turn they go. Total Bliss has the lead at a big price, and leads Ask Not What You Can Do by half a length. The opening quarter was 24 seconds flat. Mia Camilla's now third, major price fourth. Big B is next. I believe in magic very deep on the course. Saving ground inside artifact, and the trailer is built different. Field separated by four and a half lengths, and the run five furlongs from the finish. Total bliss, and ask not what you can do. Their heads apart for the lead. From the outside, Major Price trying to hunt some place to race. Mia Camilla wants that same spot. Moving up on the far outside, I believe in Magic. Big B is three wide. I am now moving in from the back is built different, and the trailer is artifact as they swing to the far turn. 48-1 for the opening half mile, and here comes the run from Built Different. She's on a hold, but moving four wide after the embattled horses up front with That's Not What You Can Do, nursing a narrow lead. Built Different is on the far outside. I believe in Magic has covered a ton of ground. From the back, Artifact is underway. Green cap, Artifact circling horses, and she's on a move now after three quarters and 12 flat. Here's a big sweeping run from Artifact, way out in the center and up to take the lead. Built Different's flattening out. At the rail, Total Bliss, then I believe in Magic, and here's a late move down the center from Big B, but Artifact swept by them all at the top of the lane, and she's a 12 to 1 winner. Artifact clears off in the end. She'll win by six lengths. Total Bliss fights back for second. Big B is third. Built difference in a photo for fourth with major price. Then that's not what you can do. 143 and 1. Paula's off slow. Good start from between horses for maybe Lucky and Wild, who heads off for the early lead. Taken on early by Awesome Appeal, who moves to her. These two heads apart. Drinks on me is down toward the inside. Working over Little Red Button in between horses in Sammy's Town. Out the back, Island Magic, and Hey Hey Paula. Half a mile from the finish. Awesome Appeal and maybe Lucky and Wild heads apart on the top end. Drinks on me needs a way out. She's down toward the inside third. Outside, Little Red Button shuffled back is Sammy's Town. Then Hey Hey Paula and Island Magic. 
22 and 4 for the opening quarter. Edgar Perez works the veteran, drinks on me into the clear. She's three wide and charging to challenge Awesome Appeal. Maybe Lucky and Wild tries to fight back toward the rail. Underway from the back is Hey Hey Paula, wide on the course in Island Magic. They're at the top of the stretch. Cutting the corner, maybe Lucky and Wild, she has the lead, drinks on me. Down the center, splitting horses, Hey Hey Paula, eighth of a mile to go, drinks on me. Powers forward to take the lead. Awesome Appeal is second. Hey Hey Paula has to alter course down the center, Island Magic, but she wins again she's drinks on me she's in front second was awesome appeal third was hey hey paula in 103 and four Fire off and running. Firing at the rail, Undelay away quickest to take the early lead. Ridden hard to go after him is Courageous Copper. Out three wide, Glorious Business. He's now third. Papa Cats and More Than I Can Handle are next, and the early trailer is Bad Bad Bobby. The pace is lively with less than half a mile to go. Undelay holds a narrow lead. Courageous Copper aggressive from the outset. He's now second, Glorious Business. He backs off to race in third. A gap of six to More Than I Can Handle. Then it's Papa Cats and Bad Bad Bobby. They move past the opening quarter, and Undelay's been hard used throughout. Here's the move from Courageous Copper. Glorious Business is next. Pimentel Jr. has to pop a cat's to quick, and he's up the fourth, and he's closing good ground. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Undelay, he's hard used, but he's still in front. Here's a late run from Papa Cats. He continues major progression down the center. Eighth of a mile to go. Undelay trying to hold off Papa Cats, who's oncoming. Final 16th of a mile. Undelay by two. Papa Cats is out of time. Undelay hanging on. Underlay wins three parts of a length. Papa Cats was second. Closer for third, either Glorious Business or Courageous Copper in 57 and 1. Especially quick start for Loco Abario, though he is being ridden for some forward position. The early lead goes to Uncaptured Star. Cozeris runs with him, and Loco Abario will situate himself in third while looking to look to the outside. Length and a half to Big John, followed next by Diamond Cool and DeColdest. The two at the back, Shaq Diesel and Maximo. Pretty quick early pace, and Sonny Leone, an Uncaptured Star, putting up the numbers. They're two on top. Cozeris is second. The opening quarter was 22 and 2. Loco Barrio is there third, improving to take fourth is Diamond Cool. Maximo is at the rail. In traffic is DeColdest. Wide is Big John, and the trailer's Shaq Diesel. Around the far turn they go. Three furlongs from the finish. Uncaptured star under pressure to hold the lead. Paco on the accelerator. Three wide with Loco Abario. In the two path is Cozeris. These three have four on Diamond Cool and DeColdest. Then Maximo and Shaq Diesel. Big John on the far outside. They drilled a half and 44 and four. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Cozeris has the lead. Loco Abario comes to call on the outside. These three or these two now three better than Uncaptured star. Cozeris has got a kick. Loco Abario needs to find under pressure as Cozeris is still in front. Loco Abario not getting to him. Back to third, it's uncaptured star, then Big John. But at four to one, it's Lionel Reyes for Terry Pompey. It's Cozeris in front. Loco Abario, no excuse, second. Big John is third, then Diamond Cool on 22 and three.
Perfect start. Speed Salsa, Judge Judith, and Cindy Song all the way quickly. Lenny Akea Storm comes away in the top flight and angles over. Wide on the course is Pretty Keen, saving ground is Riveting Spirit. The two at the back, Forbidden Dream, and Tis Enough. And they run around the first turn, early lead to Judge Judith off the inside, but in front three parts of a length. Cindy Song now turns up the pressure a bit in second from Speed Salsa, who's now third. Lenny Akea Storm is the gray racing in fourth, two in front of Pretty Keen. Then Riveting Spirit out wide is Tis Enough, and the trailer is long shot Forbidden Dream. They complete the quarter in 25 seconds flat. They have less than six furlongs to go. Judge Judith has the lead by a length. Cindy Song is second. Speed Salsa is third. Lenny Akea Storm continues in fourth, patiently handled at this stage, followed at the inside by Pretty Keen. At the rail, it's Riveting Spirit, then back to Fellow Gray Tis Enough, and the trailer is still Forbidden Dream. That's the eight of them through a 48 and two half mile. Jockey Paca Lopez and Judge Judith continue to lead by a length and a half. Cindy Song is second. Lanny Akea Storm given more rain to work with by Perez. She responds in kind and moves up three wide third. Speed Salsa and Pretty Keen are next, then Riveting Spirit. Out kicked or tis enough and Forbidden Dream as they run to the top of the stretch. Judge Judith has the lead. Lanny Akea Storm bidding up on the outside now second. Speed Salsa and Cindy Song are next. Trying to work from the back is Pretty Keen as they straighten for home. Lanny Akea Storm not finding much under pressure at least least not yet, as Judge Judith tries to hold firm. At the rail, Speed Salsa down the center, Riveting Spirit. Speed Salsa now takes the lead late. Down the center, Riveting Spirit is up into second, but Speed Salsa has the lead. At 18 to 1, Speed Salsa will win it. Second was Riveting Spirit, third was Cindy Song, and 141 and 1. away. Heart of the Beast and Sprint Breaker both a step slow. In the center, the City Girl reaching out for the early lead, taken on early by Kit Can Run and Antrim for two and three wide. On the far outside is My Insanity, saving ground for the Thrill. Racing between horses, Love Unlimited. She's actually angling to the outside for clear racing. Then it's back to Caravana. Mid-flight early for both Cats That Gal and a ground-saving reaching stride. Then Miss Tones, second last Heart of the Beast. The early trailer is Sprint Breaker. Quarter time, 24 and 1 as they head into the backstretch now. Paco Lopez sends Antrim to the top and leads by length. Three wide Love Unlimited, two path into City Girl. It's a length and a half to a rail skimming for the thrill who's now into fourth. Kit can run, shuffles to fifth. Deep on the course, cats that gal. She's racing in the five or six lane there, racing between horses in my insanity. Caravana saves ground at the inside and looks for a racing position between horses now. Here's Caravana on a hold mid-flight. It's a length and a half to Miss Tones, together with Heart of the Beast and Sprint Breaker is last. 48 and two for the opening half mile. Out in the clear, here's Cats That Gal in the white and red colors, bidding up three wide to take on Antrim. In between them, it's Love Unlimited. Dropping back to City Girl, underway from the back. Here's Reaching Stride with a big move. Caravana Ivana's trying to get going as well as Cats That Gal has come away with the lead. Three quarters, 13 flat. Cats That Gal turns first. Caravana's a stretch danger if she continues with some momentum. Down the center and reaching stride. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Cats That Gal with work to do. Love Unlimited digging hard. Caravana surging to him on the outside. Then Kit can run and reaching stride. Trying to get home. Cats That Gal driven out by Miguel Vasquez. And she's done enough to win it. Cats That Gal by a length and a quarter. Love Unlimited second. Caravana was third. 
third, closer fourth. Either Kit can run or reaching stride. 145 and three. That's a wrap on the nine race Friday card here at Gulfstream Park. Back with you on Saturday. 11 of them in tow for you. The feature, it's a good one too. Turf sprinting, the Sunny Isles. Yes, I am free. You're going to be winging the grade three winner. Hope to see you out here at 1240 first post.